we have today on this platform of Naklin with us, Mr. Venkatesh Purushottam Prabhu, having a good and great expertise. And he's an IT person who excels in various disciplines, and one of it is definitely of great relevance uh, to LIS professionals. And that's how we have been able to cross paths with Mr. Prabhu, who is going to today let you all know about the content management system, the WordPress. I'm very happy and delighted to introduce Mr. Prabhu, whose uh, areas of interest and research includes technology for education, Sanskrit pronunciation timings, digital storytelling. Many of us definitely would be also be interested. Alternative evaluation techniques, Bharatiya knowledge systems, FOSS user and promoter since 1995 and all of us open source software that he free and open source software that he's advocating and promoting since the year 1995. And he is also the proprietor for Thaiway Creations, which he established way back in the year 2000. It's a media and technology solution company started in the year 2000 and then is committed to the best in the media and technology related. And just to name, he has been a number of uh, worked as a freelancer with Synapse and successfully delivered, created, and technology-based projects for his clients. That includes Surf Gold, uh, HPCA, Kotick Mahindra, IF, IFFI Entertainment Society of Goa, International Film Festival, Goa University also. He has been a visiting faculty here in Goa's university in the subject of web technology. HCI, Human Computer Interaction, Unix Problem Solving. He has also been with the Goa Institute of Management and has delivered numerous talks and workshops. It has an immense pleasure to welcome you, Mr. Prabhu, and thank you very much uh, for agreeing to be there with us on this platform and to share your vast expertise. I would like to request you to kindly start the session. Yeah, good afternoon, all. Uh, I would like to first thank the organizers for uh, you know uh, giving me this opportunity to interact with all of you all. What I'm trying to do today is basically trying just an introduction to what WordPress is. And fortunately, I've got an option where I can actually show you the installation because somehow my laptop uh, could not detect the HDMI. So I'm actually uh, reinstalling it on this laptop here. So that's an additional thing. So you can actually see how easy it is to actually install WordPress also and uh, to work with it. So basically, these are usually the statements which are used with WordPress. You learn, pretty simple, so a lot of people use it. You create and then you enjoy with it. OK, so the first question that usually gets asked for me, like so numerous workshops that I've taken, and why do you actually advocate WordPress? So these are some of the points which I usually end up giving. So I decided to start my presentation itself with this question. Why WordPress? The first point is it's very easy to learn and maintain. Now we will see in this session how easy it is actually to work with WordPress. You need no coding experience. You do not require anything. You know to use a application like uh, Word, PowerPoint, stuff like that, and you can work with uh, WordPress. It integrates very easily with Google Analytics and KISS metrics. Now what, this is an important thing for people who are into business. What are the visitors that I'm getting? What are they coming here to look for? And all these analytics you get from this to, uh, now Google Analytics is free. KISS metrics is to be a paid service, but it goes into much more depth. Like it just tells you also where the user has pondered upon, what was he reading, and a lot of other analytics you get with KISS metrics. So it has got SEO, search engine optimization out of the box. So usually you'll find that there are a lot of SEO experts who actually optimize websites for uh, search engine optimizations and things like that. But with WordPress, it is inbuilt. The design of WordPress is such that the SEO part of it is in within the package itself. The next point that I would like to tell, tell you is there is a large, large user base. So the following slides will see how many users actually are using it at this point of time. But it has got a very, very large user base. And it also has a very, very active developer community. So if there is a, if you see, I'll, when we go to the next timeline, we'll see that so many versions have been coming up. One version just released, I think, on the 7th of November. So that's what I'll be, so it, it's very fast. So uh, there are a lot of changes happening, a lot of security patches coming in. 
And the most important part is it's open source. So you don't have to pay for it. You can do whatever you want with it. Nobody can question you. Okay, the, there are other applications, CMS, which are there, which are again open source, but they are not, you require some programming knowledge with it, but with uh, WordPress, you do not require programming knowledge to do the basic website. For doing really advanced stuff, you may be requiring some programming knowledge. So these are some of the websites that actually use WordPress as of now. You have Microsoft.com, DigiCert, all these websites. And if you check the latest trend, this is yesterday's uh, 21st November 2023, the graph. You see why WordPress is as compared to the other CMSs. So there is Joomla, Shopify, they all occupy, used for low traffic sites and user by fewer sites and then used by many sites, but again, uh, most of the sites which use it as of now are low traffic pager sites. We on, on each slide, you'll find it, and I put a link from where this data has come from. Okay, so if you check here now, these statistics, 43% of all websites, okay, use WordPress as of date. And, uh, I don't know how visible this is going to be, but if you see here, it's, how much is this? 3 crore 75 lakhs 26,481 live websites as of now, running WordPress. And if you find all the other sites, 6 lakhs, 5 lakhs. So you can imagine the type of community that is using WordPress as of date. So this is again the statistics starting from the time it started in 2003, okay? It has completed 20 years now, 20 years of development. So in this year, there has been a lot of change again uh, coming to WordPress, there are a lot of new features that have come into WordPress. So this is all because of this growth, if you see. From hardly any sites to more than uh, three crore sites today. So these are some, again, some interesting stuff. It started basically on the 27th of May, 2003. Version was 0 0.70. And today it's version 6.4. And if you see the names, the naming started actually on the 3rd of January, 2004. All are jazz musicians. So every version of uh, WordPress would have a name and it would be some jazz musician. Okay, so if you check the actual timeline till 12 December 2013, WordPress was going at a pretty okay speed, but then it picked up and it picked up really high from uh, 12 December 2013 version, that is version 3.8. And from there till date, it's only growing. And there was some point of time, if you check the earlier graph, that it came down around uh, 16, 2016, 17 time, it, it did dip a bit. Okay, because there were some features and you can ask somebody, some features people did not like and a lot of stuff like, but then they again picked up and now it's doing pretty well. Okay, so I had put a line here rested in the presentation, hopefully that I thought it would not happen, subject to availability of a laptop with Windows OS. A live demo, unfortunately I have a Windows laptop here, so I'm going to give a live demo of how to install it. Three parts, three pairs of software which are required, first is XAMPP, XAMPP is a, a stack basically where you have got Apache web server, you have got PHP for coding, and you have got MariaDB as a database. Okay, this is in no this is only for testing or learning of WordPress. In no way I would recommend it to go on a live hosting. Okay, then the second one is you can download WordPress from that URL that you have, wordpress.org slash download. So when you get a copy of this presentation, you can directly click on the link, it will take you there, download WordPress. And then there are some instructions that are there before you install what you do. So if you just follow that instruction, we'll do it now. It's pre you'll realize that it's pretty simple. So once you install XAMPP, this is what you get. Okay, so basically we require the web server. So you have to start the web server. You have to start the database. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll open a browser. Okay, so that means the web server is running and you have got the basic page that is there. So here you find on top there'll be option called as PHP MyAdmin. This is used to actually uh, manage a database. 
Okay, so by default there are some databases which are already there. So what I need to do is first step, I'll create a new database. Okay, so if you see here, we have already created a database and it is completely empty. So now we'll go to the next part. So when you download WordPress, you get a folder like this. It's a zip file. You just have to unzip it. So if you go, to, you'll find a folder called WordPress here. Can you see that folder? You just have to copy this folder. C colon zamp, there'll be a document called, uh, this thing called a folder called HTTPD. docs and I just paste the folder here okay so now if you go to the browser again So this is an, I think it was not copied fully. So it's just a copy paste thing to that particular folder, there's nothing much.
okay so this is what you get you just have to select i select english only so we'll continue and what i have to do now is uh, basically give the name of the database that i had created okay and create a file so if you see the installation i'm actually doing, showing you how the live installation happen so the database name that i had created i had called it vp wordpress the username in this case is root there is no password localhost wdp and i'll just say submit okay so you come here see this this is completely uh, you know uh, you just don't have to do anything no programming required you just have to go on clicking next next and uh, so you require a name for the site so let me just give it a name call it library website library web i need to give it a username so i'll give lib admin and i'll give a very simple password as of now so that okay email where it will not work locally but i'm just giving a that's it okay this is what you get this is basically so that you can manage your complete website just create click on login okay so this is the time you take to actually install wordpress okay go to any website if you have a space you want to do it at your home on your laptop this all time it takes okay and if you find i have not written a single line of code anywhere it's just like you install a normal software on your machine okay and so now we'll go back to the presentation So now, if you have, when you have seen the installation, we'll see like what the framework looks like. Okay, so we have got the core, the WordPress core. Then we have got plugins and we have got themes. So it, these are words which look you know difficult for. So I've tried to simplify it. When I when you look at the core, it is like a human body. Okay, so look at core to be a human body. You don't touch it. You don't do any changes to it. okay because with the newer version comes when you want when you want to update it when you want to do some upgrades on it do stuff to it if you have modified your core okay things can go pretty wrong so never touch it so if you want to do a task what do you do like in this case i am giving a presentation but to present i am using a laptop right so the plugins i like i like the tools so human with tools so plug there are many many plugins that are there so that you can use like there are tools for you to do stuff that you want to do what your wordpress to do for you and then there are themes themes are like the clothing you don't wear the same clothes every day everywhere right so if you want to change because your website should look like your website so to change the look of the website you have got themes so understand them so you basically in most cases what happens is i've seen installation where people change the core and when the core is changed then if there is any security update or something then you can't apply them So, if you want to do anything, any uh, new feature that you want to add to WordPress for your personal requirement, it's always by developing plugins and not by touching the core. Okay, so this is what WordPress looks like. So, you have got the core which is installed now, and it has got one theme and one or two plugins which come with it. I'll show you what those plugins are. And then what you do is, once you have this, then you whatever you want to do, all pl uh, playing around and have multiple plugins, you can do using plugins and themes. so some of the things that you require if you want to uh, start with wordpress you require images right 
so those images you can i have given some sites here pixabay unsplash commerce wikimedia do not go to google and directly search for image and paste it there there may be copyright issues and things like that so these are websites that give you completely free images so those images you can use for a website okay it does help and uh, then along with this of course this presentation is going to be shared so some tools again on the in the open source domain uh gimp which is used for editing of images inkscape for vector graphics and you require a text editor and a browser these are all things that you only things that you require for developing or creating your own website with wordpress okay so if you have seen i've just put uh, and these are completely free software work both on linux as well as windows so so how many themes do you have that's the figure of themes that you can use with wordpress okay so these are only themes which you get on the wordpress website okay then people have created their own themes which are not shared with wordpress that's that's an extra thing but these are the themes which are there there are there are only thing is within these themes also there are two types one is free theme and one is premium theme okay so free themes allow you to do changes to a certain limit then if you go premium and premium also not very expensive it's like 1500 2000 rupees for a theme so still works out cheaper then so let us take a look at the themes that are there okay so basically if you see here you have got commercial community theme blocks these are themes which come free with like every year you will get one this is like 2023 you will have 2017 2013 2012 20 20 so all these themes are there every year they release one theme so this is what is released by wordpress plus there are this other themes so suppose i give a search that i require a library website right so i'll just search on theme for library So basically, if you, I'll just open another theme. I'll just go to online library theme. so it does take some time for you you know uh, to search for themes now when searching for themes one thing which is very important you have to check for themes that are responsive now what are responsive themes responsive themes are themes uh, basically your website will work on all devices so if you go for uh, any theme okay that is not responsive that means it will work on your machine possibly but it will not work on a mobile phone or will not work properly on a tab and other devices and at different resolutions okay so whenever you selecting a theme Okay, like if you see here, eleven thousand five hundred twenty-three free themes are available as of now. And then you can download a theme, apply a theme, and again modify that theme also. So let us go to the installation that we have. So we have installed this, right? If you go here, there is something called as appearance, and in appearance there is a link for themes. Can you see it? 
click on that and these are themes by default that you have. So if I want to add a theme, click on it and you can search the theme. This is within WordPress, I am not going out of WordPress now. Within WordPress I can search for Meet your next favorite book, biggest book library. So suppose I want to install this theme. I can just say, this is how it's going to look. So I just say install. By the time it installs, let me show you how your actual website is looking. So this is how our website is looking as of now. This is with the default theme. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll activate this theme now. So we'll change the theme. Okay, my theme has changed. I'll refresh it. Changed. Yeah, if you've seen the look has completely changed. Of course the colors are different. That's not uh, purple, it's actually brown. Okay, because of the projector is looking purple there, it's brown color. So basically, this is what you do. So you require some other theme. Again, you can go, we'll not do theme modification now. So, so this was uh, 24, I can, we'll go to this theme. I'll activate this theme which is activated now. Now let us see how the, our website will look. Okay, uh, white is looking yellow. That's a different thing. Okay, so basically, if you check, it is that simple. It's just like you're changing your clothes. So download whichever theme you like, just apply it. Okay, and your website will have a new look. And you can dabble with 11,000 whatever, whatever themes as of now. So this is one thing which makes WordPress used by a lot of people. So you don't require program, you require any knowledge. You just go to a theme, say download the theme and apply the theme. Simple, right? What if you want to now do something which is much more deeper? Okay, basically some features you want to add. For adding features, you have 59,738 plugins as of now, free plugins. Each plugin doing something different, right from uh, library management, okay, to if you want to create an e-commerce website, all these plugins are available. Of course, there were two versions. One is a free version and the premium version. So you can start with the free version. If you like it, then you can go for the premium version. Like for example, the library management system, Okay, uh, the free version doesn't allow you to directly let out a book to users. You can just circulate it within, within the members. So if you want to do that on from your website, you go for the premium version and the cost of the premium version is just $49. So you are getting a library management system for $49 as compared to what you would be actually paying for developing something from scratch. Okay, so these are the multiple plugins which are available. So let us see how to you know use these plugins also. So if you find just behind themes, below themes, there is something called as plugins. So these are plugins which are actually active now. Similarly, I just want library. Okay.
and all these things are happening live with this library management system what i do just say install okay so if you see what i am not been writing a single line of code i have not opened a single uh, coding interface nothing only thing you should know it takes some time to find the right plugin you have to experiment yeah that that does take some time but other than that it's pretty simple now if you find it this last update has been 4 months ago so you get all the details this last update for this one is just one day ago okay what i'm doing is i'm once it's downloaded i'm saying activate and look at look at this menu on the left okay once it activates can you see something here this has changed so you have got a library management thing here just click on it this is what you can do okay how much time did it take for me to do it depend on the internet speed 5 minutes i go here total students i manage using here so basically i just have to create departments add a department and add then add a user similarly with books i can create uh, categories i can create catalogs i can create all that stuff if you go to books let me just go to the dashboard again i'll tell you go to the books can see here create categories add a book you can create a book case also similarly of course this is not the full version so if you check what is there in the pro version click here and you will see the pro version has got certain things which uh, we may require so the pro version has got unlimited department and users unlimited this issue uh, book issue to users book written by users issue more than one book so all these features come for 49 dollars which are not part of the basic thing so basic thing there is limitation where you can test it out to see if it works for you and things like that but all the other features are already there and that's how easy it is to attach it to wordpress okay now if you want to create right it is already gone into creating a new page let me just show you suppose i want to create a new page so these are the pages which are already there there is a privacy policy page and there is a sample page now i want to create an about me page basically about us so i just say add a new page okay and here i can directly type so you can just go on okay and then i say so i'll just refresh can you see this click on it and that's the about us page that we have just created okay so basically i if i want to create a contact now contact there is slightly tricky and i'll show you how contact also you can create so what happens is to contact you require a form right so basically you go to plugins again and i say add a new plugin and then there is a plugin called as wordpress forms so in this entire thing it's only about finding the right plugin applying the right plugin and using it Okay, by the time it installs, let us uh, continue with. So there are plugins. 
Now the important thing is how do you know if a website has actually been done using WordPress? If you, like I've said, lot of WordPress, good looking websites are usually WordPress and then you, some people want to know like, is this, is this person being done? So what happened was there was a time when I was actually trying to review a website done for a good company and they had paid a huge amount for that website. Okay, ultimately we realized it was WordPress. Okay, so basically I was just, I was evaluating it and when I saw these things, Okay, I told them, I said, you have spent too much. Uh, to be very fair, the amount they paid was 7 lakhs for the website, a WordPress website. Completely done with all open source free software. Okay, so this is how you know. Look for a favicon. A favicon is an icon that you get on top. So basically, whenever you go to a website, okay, this icon that you hear, get here is a favicon. Now if you see WordPress, this thing, you will find this icon here. Can you see the W here? So usually what happens is people forget to change that favicon. So you know that the website is actually done in WordPress and is not actually developed from scratch. So the second thing that you can look for is the domain name, just after the domain name, whichever domain name it is, okay, just type wp-admin.php. If you get the admins of the WordPress, you know that that's a WordPress website. Okay, then there is a line called as powered by WordPress that also you can you can change these things, but if you person has not changed it, then you can find with this. Then this is one thing which I would like to show you is okay. If you go to look at the source of the there is inspect is not here, uh, inspect is not installed. Okay, if you look at, of course, I, uh, this is how you, you know, you can look at the source of a website. So suppose you go here, if you find anything that is w, having WP, WP hyphen, okay, you know that the website is a WordPress website. So these tools are there on all browsers and uh, so basically you just have to take a look, there will be WP somewhere here. Okay, if you can see, you see WP hyphen there, so this website is actually a WordPress website. Then you can look for these two file names, the domain slash readme and this thing. So why this is uh, important is when I'm going to the next slide now, okay, in the next slide I'll tell you how you can actually use WordPress and you know, host the website, the WordPress website. So in that case, you realize that you know, if people can find out what your website is made of, okay, they can find 10 different ways to actually get into it also. And that's when the security thing comes in. So basically, People can find out if you have done in WordPress. And so when it comes to hosting, you have got two options. Either to self-host it like most universities do, or to go for managed hosting, which some of these sites give you. Okay, personally I would recommend the managed hosting. Reason is pretty simple. When we host it, okay, we have to take care of all the issues with the word, uh, with the web server with the databases, with the application, with everything. So there are a lot of security issues that are there. Again, WordPress, like I said, changes very fast. So with every change that comes in, okay, it becomes really difficult for you, for an individual, you know, to go and updating it. And what this managed hosting do is, they do all this stuff for you. So you just have to worry about the content and not about all the other things like the security of it or whether a patch has been applied on a particular day, all this stuff you don't have to look into. So that's the difference. So usually most universities have self-hosted uh, WordPresses, but uh, there are professionals and in the industry usually we prefer uh, uh, managed hostings because we don't have to look into all the securities and complete updation and things like that of the website. Okay, this is done. Let us see if it is downloaded. I think it's gone.
so like what i have shown you just now you guys go to wp hyphen Okay, so the moment you have WP forms, there is a video that comes in. So you want to know how to create forms, you can directly take a look at that video which is already there. So that that's what helps you. In my case, I'll directly go and say create first form. So what I need is a simple contact form. So I'll create this, I'll say use this template. Okay, so see it has created a form for me, right? I just have to say, save this. And it will ask me whether you want to embed it in an already existing page or create a new page. So I'll create a new page and I'll, contact, I'll name it contact us. Okay, now I go to my website, do a refresh. Can you see this contact us? The form is already done. Okay, so now suppose you want to show the map, the location here only in the contact. So what I can do is, this is where the page is, I'm editing this page now. So if you see there's a plus which comes below the form. So I can just say plus and you'll find that, you know, uh, you'll get a lot of blocks here coming in here. Okay, so because I want to add a block, I need just a normal code block. So I'll take a custom HTML and what I do is I'll go to maps dot Okay. So how do you actually add a map? Click on share and then there is embed a map. Just copy that HTML. Paste it here and update it. Can you see this? So you have Go University marked within the website. So that's how you can play around with WordPress. There are a lot, like I said, there are a lot of plugins. I, uh, so you can go here if you go to the main site now. And suppose you don't like this look. Okay, so it gives you so many options. Like if you go to appearance, you go to editor. You can see this, I can
start playing around with this add a header this thing. i can even modify this so basically these are the things that you can go on changing so anything that you want Now this will apply for this theme only, by the way. So basically, if I want the pages, go to about us. So now I can. This is a place where I can put an image. If you see here, I click on that. There are no images here. So what I'll do is I'll just go to find some image. Is there image here only? Some image? Is there image somewhere here? I just want to. So let me just try to see if there is an image here which is in a picture. So. Okay, so I've added it. I've added a logo. So you can see this logo here. So similarly, what you can do is you can create all the pages just by selecting uh, whichever component you want, putting it there, change the look of this also completely. You can add some more things. If suppose I can click here, I can say if I want to add something, add a paragraph, add a heading, add a gallery. So that's how you actually go on working with uh, WordPress. So okay. So if you see here, you get WP forms also. So I click on that. So you can modify it also if you want to again. Okay, you put on whenever somebody fills the form, click on entries and you'll get all the entries. Okay, it's not uh, kept over here. So basically, you can see here some of the things. For some of the things, you have to actually upgrade to the pro version. But other than that. Uh, So there are payments, there are tools, so there are so many other things. So for payment also, you can directly create a form. So there are multiple, multiple things which are there, all done only by plugins and by themes. So any question till now? Uh, Performance-wise, uh, this one, it's basically both are uh, done in PHP. Okay, so that in that case, it is not, but this is more uh, sleek. WordPress is much more faster, like the response time that you can get with uh, WordPress for a page is less than uh, one second. Okay. Uh, performance benchmark for a normal website, there won't be much, but for a heavy load thing, there could be certain things. Yeah, no. Drupal does have it, but uh, what the, like I said, it, this becomes much more easier when you uh, see the type of uh, performance that it is giving, the type of blocks which are there also. In this case, they are plugins. So the number of plugins and number of themes that are there and the community that supports it, it's much more uh, larger than here. I've done things with Drupal, 
बट ओवर द टाइम आई फाउंड एंड मैनेजिंग दिस वेबसाइट्स वर इजियर एंड चीपर वर्ड प्रेस दैट दैट्स द ओनली डिफरेंस बिकॉज यू गेट सो मच ऑफ नाउ सेल्फ मेंटेन होस्टिंग ऑन वर्ड प्रेस एंड सो मेनी न्यू टूल्स विच आर एक्चुअली कंपनीज आर डेवलपिंग लाइक देर आर थीम डेवलपर्स ऑल्सो एप्लीकेशन दैट आर देर ओके विच सम ऑफ दोज कंपोनेंट्स दैट टाइप ऑफ सपोर्ट इज नॉट देर विथ ड्रूपल टिल नाउ पॉसिबली इन फ्यूचर इट मे बी देर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डेवलप अ न्यू थीम फॉर से वर्ड प्रेस देर इज अ यूटिलिटी विच आई कैन डाउनलोड एंड दैट यूटिलिटी विल हेल्प मी एक्चुअली क्रिएट अ कंप्लीट न्यू थीम विदाउट नोइंग कोडिंग एनी थिंग या या बिकॉज दिस ऑल थर्ड पार्टी वर्ड प्रेस डजन डू इट बट वर्ड प्रेस इज सो पॉप्युलर दैट पीपल हैव बीन क्रिएटिंग दिस टूल्स फॉर वर्ड प्रेस पीपल yeah but uh, that's what i said this is much more easier if you see the learning curve okay i'm looking at the learning curve learning curve for uh, wordpress is lesser than the learning curve for drupal thank you very yeah much. yeah uh, i'm dr priya krishna i'm a practical librarian hmm. uh, frankly speaking it's a wonderful uh, experience to want to talk to this for the program only one thing as many like the very like Basically, I think there is a Koha plugin to this thing. I just have to check it out if there is a Koha plugin because I have not actually integrated. Koha. Yeah. So this plugin actually allows you to integrate Koha with WordPress. if you see here yeah so it's that's what i said there is a plugin for everything give a search on it there will be a plugin just install that plugin you may have to pay some 50 to maximum usually i have seen is up 50 to 60 dollars for that plugin integrate it i'm the thing is you don't delete something that you already have you don't duplicate stuff you just try to see if you can match because ultimately it comes to the user interaction user interface now that's where wordpress actually will give you a better experience So you just integrate it. Yeah. So like I was uh, referring to, I've that's most of it. Okay. So the most important question again that comes: Where do I learn WordPress from? So these are some of the sites. If you see WordPress tutorials, WordPress. by itself they have got their own tutorials okay so you can go to the wordpress website take the tutorial from there and do it simplest and this thing udemy has a course uh, multiple courses actually costing about 389 something per course so not very expensive again for wordpress then you have got coursera also has got courses on wordpress similarly youtube i have got actually got three courses there which are some of very good courses on wordpress on youtube which you don't even have to pay for okay they go step by step there is a beginner course there is advanced level course there is a course which will tell you if you want to build your own plugins there will be a course for actually creating your own templates or themes so like i said it has got a very a big big community so what happens is in that entire thing you get all these resources done 
Okay, you want a certification, you go for the Coursera course. Don't want a certification, you can go to YouTube courses. Okay, because Coursera will give you a certification, they'll give you a certificate. Even edX, EDX has got courses for uh, WordPress. So it's, it's pretty, and like I've shown you, the complete installation with the basic website that we just did, okay, it doesn't take any time. Again, two tools which you require, like I said, in open source domain, you get online also is like image editing and that some skills which you have to have is, you know, uh, the look and feel of it, how you want it for yourself. But other than that, it's pretty much simple, pretty much straightforward. You just go on searching for a plugin. And when you search for a plugin, like I've said, you can always look at when it was updated, what is the rating that it has got. So if you see it has got most five star ratings. Okay, what is going to be the cost of it if you want to buy the final versions, everything is there. The plugin doesn't support my library's catalog system. Will future versions support it? So if you want, you can directly contact them and say, add this to the plugin and they'll do it for you. Okay, so it becomes that simple. And like I said, even the learning curve being very simple, you go to these websites, to other, I think the tutorials are also pretty small, one hour, two hour tutorials where you can start the basic things. And uh, over time, uh, you know, like I said, we started with the first slide, just create and enjoy. Yeah, so that takes me to the last part. Any other questions that you would have? Yeah, so basically, uh, like I said, uh, self-hosting, that's what you're talking about, self-hosting. Universities usually prefer self-hosting. Okay, industry prefers managed hosting. Okay, so there are these websites that have got, already have got WordPress. If you go to their website, like if I go to this website, let me go to uh, GoDaddy. It gives you the entire thing. Just pay for it and you have got WordPress maintained, everything done for you. You just manage the content. Okay, so you can take this presentation, it is there on this machine. So what happens is this presentation has got the entire, all the links are there. So you just click on the link and you get it. If you want uh, hosting which is in India, there is another This is based in Bangalore. Okay, so, and here you can actually, if you see the plans, also they are not very expensive. Okay, so what happens is, if you do this, the, all that headache of, you know, updating it and keeping track of all the security patches, everything, you don't have to do it. Because you require one person, that becomes more expensive actually. Paying that one person to do it is more expensive than going for these services. Okay, so suppose you go with WordPress hosting, on the, with WordPress itself. You realize after one year, two years, you know, that they are not giving you the type of service you want. Take a backup, go to somebody else. Okay, so this is, uh, so you don't lock in. With WordPress, that's very important, you don't lock in. Yeah, so that's all from my end. This my, these are my contact details. So if there is anything in any ways that uh, you would like some help or something, then I'm open for it. And so I have my email address and my contact number there. And thank you for the patient hearing. It was nice interacting with you. Thank you. Well, friends, uh, we are uh, coming to the end of uh, this uh, invited speakers uh, session. Uh, the speaker was uh, Mr. Vangtish P. Prabhu, Senior Consultant, Highway Creations, Goa. And the topic which was uh, given to him was on content management system, WordPress. If you have any difficulty or if you have any queries, then you are most welcome to present your queries, present your difficulties to Mr. Vangtish. We have some time with us. And then we will break up for tea, because uh, the tea break is at 4.30 p.m. That's why, uh, 
that's why uh, if you have any queries then you are most welcome to ask him at least for 15 to 20 minutes otherwise we will wind it off and then we will go to the exhibition area which will be followed by tea break at 4:30 and then uh, we will be having a cultural evening at 5 o'clock sharp in the same auditorium. Okay. Uh, at this juncture, I would like to, if you don't have any queries or questions, then I will wind, it, wind this session up. Do you have any queries? Okay. Uh, on behalf of Dell Knight New Delhi and on behalf of Goa University, I wish to thank our invited speaker, Sri uh, Vankatesh Prabhu, for his uh, wonderful session on uh, content management system, that is WordPress. And uh, I uh, feel that uh, you will utilize uh, this particular session or this particular topic uh, in your day-to-day -day life where you work in your offices or in your libraries or wherever you are working for. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Venkatesh Prabhu Desai. And uh, as a token of love and appreciation from Dalnet and Goa University, I wish to present a small memento to uh, Mr. Uh, Sri uh, Venkatesh Prabhu Desai. Prabhu. <laughs>